Prophetic Messages from the Lord, the 22nd of May, 2017. And this is a compilation of prophetic messages from various of God's messengers consolidated into a format presented to you. The Father says, When you fall on your face, consider this the perfect place for you to be to watch my miraculous love all around you. I will take even your biggest mistakes and sins to be the answer to those caught in a vice grip of the enemy. Do not think your testimony of grace will not be exactly the key to free others. Many continue to wear the shame even after I have redeemed them. Does this seem logical to do? I am not worried about the times you were out of my will and the ways that humans view these aspects. Where are you today? Right now is what you should consider and take heed. I am working for you, but are you working against me? If you feel you are spinning your wheels, just stop for a moment to evaluate with honesty. Were there warning signs you ignored over and over thinking you were above what was shown? I will speak wisdom even through a donkey. What you value in the message will determine if you listen or not. Repent and move forward. I will bring a mighty wind to your sails once more. Soon you will be where I desire. I give you the blessings of a new day faithfully. Do not overlook this beauty. I can make those obstacles forget all about your past. I will rise up whom I choose. Do not forget this faucet. I choose not to remember your forgiven parts. You are washed clean and I will answer those who look to take you down. It is time to use the keys in your own hands to open the prison doors you allow to encase you. I have set no motions against the innocent. It is your moment to forgive and finally feel the joy that I created you to walk in. Do not allow baggage to collect in your soul. I created you to prosper in all things and the condition of your soul will hinder this if you are not mindful. I am bringing peace and purpose to your steps once more. I so love you. To you who feel the heartache of losing your deepest desire, I say you are not emptied, but as you weep before me, you are filled. You are seeing that you have failed to be what you were born to be in your own ability and strength, but I will exchange your weakness with my power as you delight in me. I will show you my will for you and my heart's desire. Woven into your DNA is my intention for you along with your original calling, destined to succeed as you bow before me. You will flow in my spirit, and as you grow in my life, you will be all you were meant to be and accomplish what you were called to do. I have purged you of weakness and trained you to walk by faith and to speak according to my will and have your very life breath in me. Do not lament the weakness or failing in your hearts, for all things come to life as they come together in me. This is not your day, it is mine. Today I do all that brings delight. The enemy has had his day and his time. Now I shall have mine. Things will begin to turn around. You shall not have death, you shall have life. Everywhere you turn, things will turn around and spring to life. Every place you look, strongholds will come crashing down. In times past, you clung to me to hold your ground. But in the days to come, you will praise me as you take the land. In times long ago, you drudged with every step as you would on a desert sand. Now you will skip and dance in blessed relief and with joy, my children, you will embrace victory. My children, you have wondered how to navigate the destruction that is coming. I tell you, it is not possible in your own strength, but you shall be well able to navigate it in mine. If you will draw nearer to me in a secret place where we meet, if you will spend more time in my presence and in my word, I will guide you. As you spend more and more time with me, you will begin to hear me whispering into your spirit. You will hear me guiding you. This guidance is how you will navigate what is coming. My voice is how you will walk in that time. My guidance is how you will survive. My people will walk for a time in the destruction to guide those who are lost to me. The work and my kingdom will be all but abandoned when these things happen, and many souls will seek to know me then. Only those who do know me can guide them. But fear not, for you shall not dwell amongst destruction for long. Your home is here with me. My light surrounds thee. Those with humility shall soar on eagles' wings. What is gained through cunning and deceit shall be revealed in the light of day. 
The battle rages and time is short. My word is a two-edged sword and shall fight your battle today. For I am the resurrection and the life. Hearts broken shall be mended. Where there is sickness, there shall be health. Where there is despair, there shall be joy. Call on me now, and you shall see the power of my name. Shall obedience not be rewarded? Speak now, son of man, speak of the tree of life. Reveal its season, for its fruit is ready to be harvested. You shall sup with me, and eat from the fruit of life. For a place has been prepared for thee in my father's house. It is out of my great love and mercy that I speak from my heart of the things to come. Hide yourselves, if only for a moment, as my anger is kindled and my indignation shall pass. Come deeply into the deepest chambers, the center of my heart, the holy of holies, for it is here that you will find safety and peace and rest, while I do what I must do. My spirit and my protection cover all who have consecrated themselves to me. No evil will befall you, and under my wing you shall dwell. Perfect peace amidst the darkness shall be yours. Call upon my holy angels to come to you and your loved ones, and I will hear you. There is no greater love than mine, and my people will know that their king is strong and mighty in battle, and has made the earth his footstool. Terror will reign as the days grow darker. Terror will reign as the days grow darker. The events coming quickly now, my loves. But you who seek refuge in me, your high tower, will dwell in my insulated wall of fire. Prepare your hearts and your spirits, for I am manifesting in such a way that has never been seen before. By now I have made myself very, very clear through all those vessels through which I have spoken. The distinction has been made, and those who have chosen to live with one foot in the world and one in the kingdom will find themselves left to endure the consequences of their choices. Light and dark cannot dwell together. Therefore, all that is not pure and righteous and holy will I turn my eyes from. There will be a chain of events that will come upon the earth suddenly, and sadly far too many have not prepared or listened to my counsel. Most dwell in a reality so far from the truth that the illusion is their reality, and a great deception will catch them like a snare. The majority of those who call themselves mine even have slid into the comfortably numb realm where their padded walls of false security protect them from my truth. These will fall the hardest when I strip and I, te and I tear these walls down and expose their nakedness and their shame. I am the discerner of men's hearts, and I see many are tainted and impure. Here is wisdom. The soul is destroyed from within, as is this land and her people. Roots of bitterness and gale have taken the place of love and purity. Evil roots have grown evil trees, and the fruit of this land is rotten. Therefore, hear me speak. I am come to purge the filth and burn all that is not of me. Woe to those who will now find themselves outside of my covering. They will awaken to realize that they had been warned. I will leave evidence of all I have spoken in my chosen ones. The king's voice proclaim in one accord across the earth, and all men will know I am God as the days of revelation are begun. Who is worthy to read the scrolls and to come as judge and ruler of all? Only one, and my name is Yahshua. Let every knee bow down and every tongue confess that I am Lord of all. Elohim El Olam, Yehovah El Lahoi, Adonai Yahweh Sabaoth, El Elyon El Gebor.